activate Fluffy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Fluffy Wonders. Fetch, Debo. <laughs> Whoa! I should have built a bigger moat. Huh? Sorry about your castle, Krabby. Oh, it's okay. There's plenty of sand to rebuild it. <laughs> Good question, Nebo. Hmm, I wonder, where does sand come from? To answer that, you'll have to go to the top of Mount Peaky. To the top of Mount Peaky we go. I'm gonna need wings and frog legs. Wings, frog legs, confirmed. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Whoa! <sighs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hey there, I'm Wayne the Boulder. I just woke up from the best dream. I was a grain of sand living atop a sand castle in a beach paradise. That's so cool. And I want to make my dream a reality. <laughs> Erosion is a process that usually takes millions of years. But let me break it down for you. Cannonball! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm already smaller. Erosion usually takes so long, but I'm feeling ambitious today. Yeah, let's go. Activate propeller. Propeller confirmed. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun, Blippi. Me too. Whirlpool. Whoa. Erosion makes me dizzy. Water slowly breaks down rocky surfaces, but this whirlpool is really speeding things up. Activate Turbo Booster. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Whoa, look how small I am. Shrinking down. Wow, Wayne, you're so small we can barely keep up. Here's the secret to keeping up. You gotta... Whoa, whoa. 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 Catch that fish! Whoa, Wayne! You're tiny! Yup! <laughs> Even fish play a part in the process of erosion. Now let's go find my dream castle! Whoa! Oh boy! Here we go! Ah, there! My sand castle's complete! Ha! Ah, I did it! My dream came true! Thanks for being a gem during my erosion! It was a blast! And I got the answer to my question. Where does sand come from? Sand comes from big boulders as they break into smaller pieces through a process called erosion, which usually takes millions of years. Upload answer, Debo. Buh bye Goodbye! See you later! That's right, Debo. The leaves have almost fallen off the trees. That means winter is coming. Whoa! That is a big bear! It looks like it's ready to hibernate. That's when bears slow down in the winter and rest. Kind of like a bunch of long naps. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, how do bears prepare for hibernation? I'm gonna need the excavator arm. Excavator arm confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. moves you got there. I'm Bella the bear. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're wondering how bears prepare for hibernation. <gasps> is it that time already? It's almost winter. Oh, no. I've been having so much fun this summer, I totally forgot to prepare. I'm going 
gonna have to move fast. Hey, could you help me? Of course. Thanks, Blippi. I've got quite the checklist. I'm gonna have to eat a lot of healthy food and fast. <laughs> so I can bulk up my fat and fur to keep me warm. Fish is one of my favorite foods. Whoa! Voila! Oh, right. <laughs> Eating. Oh. Thanks, Blippi. I'll also need to load up on berries. Bella, don't you need to eat the berries? Whoopsie-doo. Oh. Mm. Thanks, Debo. All right. We're making progress. But now for the tough part. We need to dig in the ground to find roots to eat. <laughs> I know just the thing to speed up the process. Nice work, Blippi. <laughs> well, excuse me. Mmm, mmm, delish. Oh, I just need one more thing to keep me warm. What is it? an extra layer to keep warm in my cave. Pine needles! The bear version of a big comfy blanket. Oh, thanks! That looks extra cozy. <sighs> I'm all ready for hibernation. And I couldn't have done it all in one day without your help. I think we made it just in time. Thanks for answering my question, Bella. Bears prepare for hibernation by eating a lot of healthy food and warming their dens in order to stay comfy in the winter months. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Have a great sleep, Bella. Bye, Blippi. Oh, take care of my hula hoop till summer, Debo. Whoa, look at all those adorable penguins. Look at them sliding on their bellies and waddling around. Wow, I think those penguins are flying. Wait a minute, those aren't penguins. You're right, Debo. I don't see any penguins flying. Hmm, I wonder, can penguins fly? I'm gonna need duck feet and flippers. Duck feet, flippers, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Gangway! Huh? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We were wondering, can penguins fly? Hi, Blippi, I'm Pepper. I really want to fly. I just need to find the elusive Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. The Shimmer Stripe Iceberg? Yeah. It's the biggest iceberg around. Once I find it, I think I'll finally be able to fly. Come on, let's go. I prefer tobogganing over waddling. It's much faster. All right. Here we go. Whee! Ice fly detour. I'm going to catch some serious air. Watch this. Yay. Pepper? <laughs> Almost got it. We just need to find the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. Then I really should be able to fly. Let's do it! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Not this one. No Shimmer Stripes here. Whoa! Woohoo! Where could it be? It's the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg! Yeah! Woohoohoo! Here we go! Whoop. Whoa! <laughs> Come on, Debo! Yeah! <laughs> All right. Are you ready to catch some serious air? We were born ready! <laughs> Woo! <-hoo>. Yeah! <laughs> Some serious air. Pepper, you're sorry. 
seen. I am? Ooh, ooh. You're right. I can really soar underwater. <laughs> Whoa. And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> Penguins can't fly, but they're great swimmers. <laughs> They also have flippers instead of wings, which help them swim through the water. Upload answer, Debo. I'm gonna go catch some serious waves now. Bye, dudes! Bye, Pepper! Last one to splash has to take out the trash. <laughs> Wait, worms! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Hmm, I wonder, why do worms come out in the rain? I'm gonna need pontoons and the excavator arm. Pontoon, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinky day! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. La 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 la! Ooh, what's that? La 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 la! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Flippy, and this is Debo. <laughs> oh, hi! I'm Wave the Worm, and I la 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 love singing! Everybody join in! La la la. I wish I could find another worm I could sing with. Well, I'd ask you, but you're not worms. But hey, enough about me. What can I do for you? We were wondering why worms come up from underground when it rains. There are three reasons. Follow me, 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 me. Worm dive. Huh? Whoa! It sounds like something's digging down. It's getting closer. Don't worry. That's just the raindrops hitting the ground above and sending vibrations down. But to us worms, it sounds like a predator trying to dig down and get us. So that's one reason we go topside. Whoa! What? We better get out of here! Wave? Hello? La 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 You're right, Debo. That does look like fun. Reason number two. When it rains, we worms can move around on the ground much faster. That's right, Debo. Wave did say there are three reasons why worms come out in the rain. What's the third reason, Wave? Third reason? Um. La, 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 la. Oh, that's right. Number three, to find a friend. I love the rain. I love the rain too. We love the rain. Wave, you found a friend who loves to sing just like you. And now I have the answer to my question. Why do worms come out in the rain? Worms come out in the rain because the raindrop vibrations sound like predators. They can travel more quickly when it's wet and to find a special friend. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Goodbye, Debo. La 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 la. <laughs> bye bye, Wave. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> You look like a fireman! Now you look like a construction worker! <laughs> You're a natural cowboy, Debo! <laughs> hmm, I wonder, what is it like to be a cowboy? Let's find out! I'm gonna need a grabber arm! Grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Uh, uh, hey, do you know any cowboys? Whoa, Whoa there. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Hampton the Horse. 
What brings you two down to the eat for? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're here to learn what it's like to be a cowboy. Well, you certainly rode into the right range. Giddy up. But first, we've got to get you looking the part. All right. I see you got your hat on, partner. Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Blippi, grab yourself a hat and a bandana. See, cowboys wear these wide brim hats to protect themselves from the sun and the rain. Ah, oh, much better. Now you looking good. Yeah, cowboy. But they're also useful for gathering water when you need a drink. Cool. Woo. Whoa. Uh oh. <laughs> Whoopsie. Cowboy hats are also good for moving a cow in the right direction. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> hey! No worries there, Blippi. Being a cowboy is so much more than just having the right clothes. Like what? Riding horses is a big part of the job. It's how cowboys got around before corn, and it allows us to herd cattle without scaring them. Hop on. Let's ride! <laughs> Maybe we should slow down. Oh, I think I'll stick to the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> That's actually perfect, since we have loose cattle to rank. We gotta spread out and move in the direction of the cows to go toward the pen. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, this way. Let's get a wiggle on. That means let's go. Yippee! <laughs> well done, Blippi. You wrangled those cows like a real cowboy. Being a cowboy is hard work. Sure is. But it makes the day worthwhile. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for helping me find the answer to my question. <laughs> Cowboys wear big hats ride horses, and wrangle cattle. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for making us feel at home on the range. Anytime, City Slicker. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Whoa! Bouncy sand dune. And even bouncier! Wow, what an amazing sand castle. Wave incoming! Oh, no! Looks like that castle was no match for that wave. Huh. I wonder, can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? <laughs> yeah, you're right, Tabs. There is only one way to find out. I need to build a sandcastle of my own. I'm gonna need the excavator arm and spider legs. Excavator arm, spider legs confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for action. Let's go make a sandcastle that won't get washed away. Now we need to make ourselves sandcastle size. Drinking down! Feel that cool ocean breeze, Tabs. Whoa! Hi there, I'm Krabby the Crab. Pleasure to meet you. Ooh, crikey, I don't know my own strength. Hi, Krabby. It's me, Blippi. And this is my Blippi mobile. I love it. <laughs> so, you out taking a fun ride? Actually, Krabby, I'm here because I'm curious if I can build a sandcastle that won't get washed away. You came to the right, Crab. I'm a planner, digger, and a builder. I can help you, Blippi. Great. So, the first thing we're going to do is build a moat. That's a fancy word for a hole. You see, the water goes into the hole and doesn't wash away what's behind it. So, let's dig. <laughs> dig, 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 dig. Wow, what a hole. Now let's build a sandcastle. You're right, Tabs. We are going to need a shovel. Finished. Success. You already built it, Krabby. And our moat is perfect. 
the moat's the hole we dug all around the sandcastle. Great moat! And best sandcastle ever! Wave incoming! The moat worked, Krabby! This means I think I have the answer to my question. Can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? I can by making a hole around it to mm. catch the water. Upload answer tabs. Thanks, Krabby. See you later, Blippi. Keep on digging. <laughs> Whoa, tabs. Look at this amazing rainforest. You're right. I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder, what kind of animals live in a rainforest? I'm gonna need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow! This place is so green! They must get a lot of rain here! Yes, we do, actually! Hey! It's me, Blippi! This is Tabs! Hello, I'm Vine! The giant panda bear! Glad to meet you! We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest! Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once! We won't be long. Super! Let's go see what we can find. Yeah! Thanks, bye! I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure! Whoa! This bamboo is as tall as a house! The juiciest shoots are at the top! Would you mind? Whoa! 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 Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey! He's a golden monkey! Hi, Fred! <laughs> Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. It's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream! Unless it was bamboo flavor. <laughs> Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing! There's a nice stalk just there. Whoa, little red bugs. Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh no, I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs. Hello. <coughs> Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, Bye. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye, bye. Holy smokes! A volcano! That's right, Debo! When a volcano erupts, smoke and hot lava come out the top of it. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a volcano erupt? Great idea! We'll go inside a volcano and find out! I'm gonna need wings, spider legs, and the heat shield! Wings, spider legs, heat shield, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Let's go through the side vent into the volcano! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it sure is hot in here! Whoa! Hey there! I'm Maggie the Magma Monster! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is Debo. We want to learn what makes a volcano erupt. 
You're in for a real treat, Blippi and Debo. Speaking of treats... <laughs> Below us, deep in the Earth, the planet's heat is melting rocks into liquid, also known as magma, like me. <laughs> You're right, Debo. It is like one of our favorite games. The floor is lava! Whoa! Magma becomes lava after it erupts out of the volcano. Whoa. So I guess I'm the floor. <laughs> Whoa! We're getting higher. That's because the more rocks melt below, the more magma rises here in the chamber. Hey, I wonder where this goes. Look out, Flippy! Magma! Phew, that was close. Maggie, you almost fill the whole cavern now. I sure do. And as I grow, the pressure inside the volcano builds until we push through the crust or the top of the earth. Hold on! Whee! Ah, much better. Maggie, what a blast! And I got the answer to my question. What makes a volcano erupt? A volcano erupts when the hot magma inside it builds pressure and bursts through the surface of the Earth. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, Blippi. Hope you loved it. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Bye-bye, Maggie. Whoa, that bird is carrying lots of twigs. <laughs> right, Debo. She's bringing them to her nest. Hmm, I wonder, how do birds build a nest? Good idea! Let's follow that bird and see if she'll show us. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Mobile is ready for adventure. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Oh no! What happened to your nest? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Jody. My nest was damaged in a storm last night. Oh, don't worry, Eggies. Mama's on a mission to rebuild our nest. We were wondering how you build the nest. Well, I could use an extra wing to look after my two eggs. Debo would love to exit. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Debo. Now, Blippi, can you come with me to get supplies? Grass, mud and twigs. They're all near Jake's place, so we'll need to keep him busy. Very unfriendly. Let's go. A nice birdie! <laughs> Jody, what's the status of that grass? Grass acquired! Time to get the mud! Mud is landing in the nest! Now all we need are some twigs from the end of this branch! This guy again? Oh. oh, thanks, Debo. <laughs> Time to build. First, I make a circle with twigs and grass. Then, add more twig circles higher on top of each other. Whoa, you use your beak to build it. The mud is like glue, holding the nest together. Your nest is fantastic, Jody. And I know the answer to my question. How do birds build a nest? Birds like Jody find natural things like grass and twigs, then use mud to hold it all together. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Blippi and Debo. Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye, Jody. Bye, eggs. I love our cool Blippi Mobile. You're right, Debo. Our car does have amazing things. 
Hmm, I wonder, what were the first cars like? Good idea! We can go way back in time to see one of the first cars. I'm gonna need helicopter blades. Helicopter blades confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Going back in time! <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. We just traveled back over 100 years. I wonder whose house this is. It's mine. My name is Blippi. Yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wait, are you my great grandpa? I think I am. Come here, future Blippi great grandson. <laughs> grandpa, we're here to find out what the first cars were like. Good timing! I'm about to take my first ever automobile for a drive! Hot dog, isn't this a beaut? Really cool! So, how does it start? This crank will make sparks that help start the engine! The engine started! Yeah! It looks like your car can only fit two people and no seatbelts? Hmm. Seat belts keep you safe. Hot dog. Seat belts? Okay, let's go to the top of that hill. <laughs> we made it. Knew we would. Now down. Does the car have any brakes? It sure does! <laughs> that was really cool! <laughs> Hot dog! And I have the answer to my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it, cars only had two seats, and you pulled a hand lever for the brakes! Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, great-grandpa Blippi. Happy and safe driving. <laughs>